Hello, so we're going to be doing the challenge, and yeah, so I'll just be walking you through it. So, build a custom offer object, so we're probably going to be making the object called offer. So, let's read the story. When a home buyer makes an offer to buy a property, the brokers at Dreamhouse Realty need to track the details in Salesforce. So the home buyer is the person that wants to buy the house and the brokers are basically the sellers. So let's read the rest of the story so you can understand it more. Create a custom object they can use to record the offer amount and target close date for the sale. Use auto numbering to generate the name of each record. So basically, it means that we need to know like the name of each record, so we won't have to keep typing in the name of the person who made the offer. So we just have like a name of the record. So let's make the object. So I'll just make it over here. And you click Setup. And then you go to object manager and you create a new custom object and we're going to call it offer and then we write offers because the plural means more than one and this there's, there's possibly going to be more than one and it's, the description doesn't really matter because it wasn't specified like to be like typed in or like, anything specific so we just have to write anything we want what i'm writing is like <laughs> I don't know nothing but you can write whatever you want other than not just nothing like to actually explain it but we're just gonna leave it at offer name and we're gonna change the text to auto number and uh, this is bothering me a bit I'm just gonna put home buyers making and offer for for home in dream house of T and for the auto number we're just gonna so the starting number is one and the display format is over here which is O F and so what we actually do is you do that, OF, but then you make parentheses, and then you do 0 4 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you do another parentheses to close it, and we're done. So we just have to click save, and finally, we actually did it, and now we just have to, we have to go to fields and relationships, and make a new field like over here. It says create a custom currency field on the offer object named offer amount with the data type currency. So that's offer amount. So we gotta remember that new field, which is we click here. And like it said, we have to do the data type, the, the date type. Wait, let me check again. So to do the data type currency okay. and then we click next and then we just have to type offer amount and it already shows it over here it's like from typing it there so you don't need to type it here and the description is how much money the buyer is willing to give is willing to pay to get the property and I think it do we have to do it in the help text um, I don't think we do but I'm just gonna do it just in case the buyer is willing to pay to get the property. 
and then we don't need to worry about this and now we have to change the length to 16 the 18 well we don't have to because 18 is the max but we can do this if you want and then put the decimal places to two and then then you press press next and then make it visible and then you click next again <laughs> and then we click save we don't need to worry about this because just leave it checked you don't have to uncheck it or anything and click save the next the next thing we have to do is create a custom date field on the offer object name target close date with the data type date <laughs> which is a lot of date in that sentences like one two and three and yeah we're just gonna do it what it says one by one so create a custom date field on the offer drip named it so we need to remember target close date and we so we go back to it and we click on we click on new and then target close date it's hard to remember and after that I'm not sure it doesn't say you need to do anything in the description so I'm not gonna bother to type anything in here and the next thing we do is create oh yeah the next thing we do is basically just that yeah but, but I'm gonna type something because it'll be more interesting and I'm gonna type in when the buyer would like to move into the new property so me so either the house so the house and also we didn't we don't need to worry about this again and we click next okay now we just make it visible it basically means to let everybody be able to see it and we click next that's basically the challenge and <laughs> so that's the challenge and we're just gonna check challenge to earn 500 points so then click on it and we will be doing it come on it just takes a bit come on just have a little patience Have you called it? I don't know why, but it didn't work, so I'm just gonna go back to where it was. And you don't need to see the next part, because I'm just gonna try and figure out why. Apparently, I did some, I didn't do it in here, and I'm gonna rewatch re it, but so just do what I do right now, because something happened, but I'm not sure what it was. So we're just gonna redo this. So remember date, like it says here, date field on the offer object means target close date. So I need to remember that target close date. Is it spelled right? Because that might be why it didn't work. Target close date. Yeah, it is. 
So I'm just going to write when the buyer is moving into property and we don't need to type it in again because that's what we just did and click next and I hope it'll work now and click visible so everyone can see it and click on next then we click save and we're done so now we're done this, the challenge and this is when it didn't work because I don't know why but it just disappeared but probably because I forgot to save or something so let's do it chick challenge on 500 points I just wait it worked so then now we're done and I hope you enjoyed the time I took to make this video because it took pretty long because of a lot of mistakes I did and I hope you enjoyed and check out the next video you see now.